guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ariella and I make videos about medical school and my life as a first year med student. Today we are doing an unsponsored figs scrubs haul slash review. My mom actually got some fig scrubs in the mail with her employee discount. I don't know if they do that all the time or only for certain days, but she got some in the mail and she let me try them on and review them for you. So we're gonna chat today about fig scrubs and if I think they're worth the hefty price that they come along with. If you guys are not subscribed already, I would love it if you would click subscribe down below and join me on my journey through medical school. I also make other types of videos like lifestyle videos. I love Animal Crossing, I talk about it all the time. I also really love Lululemon and I make a bunch of hauls and reviews about their clothing as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, please click the subscribe button down below. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you, I got this shirt, this is my first well, I didn't purchase it. It was a gift for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day, but this is my first item of clothing from Aritzia and I saw this like brown purpley kind of color and I needed it so badly. It's this cropped thermal. It has this nice stitch on the underside so that way your thermal material will never fray at the end and I'm extremely happy with this. It's perfect, it's like lightweight. I can still wear it in the summer or on a chilly summer night but also warm enough that when I'm studying, I don't really need a sweater. I ordered this on their like special order thing, so the product actually wasn't available for shipping when we ordered it back in February or March. And it said it was estimated to ship around May 27th, but it ended up shipping earlier and I got it a couple days ago. So I'm really happy with it. I'm very happy with the quality of the Aritzia clothing, so maybe I will do some hauls in the future. Who knows? Yeah, okay, that was an aside. <laughs> So let's get on into the review. So first thing we need to talk about is the fabric and the price. So I have my notes here and all of the Fig Scrubs products that I purchased are made out of a 72% polyester, 21% rayon, and 7% spandex material. Let's start off by saying that Figs is extremely expensive for a pair of scrubs. I think they're like the Lululemon of the scrub companies, to be honest. They're wonderful quality, but they carry that hefty price tag that a lot of high quality clothing items come with. So I think what you pay for when you buy the Fig scrubs is the material and the fabric. It is incredibly comfortable, super stretchy, it doesn't irritate my skin at all, and it's easy to maintain, unlike something like a Lululemon active wear. You can wash it with a normal cycle and you can throw it in the dryer and it won't compromise the integrity of the fabric. As a healthcare worker and as someone who wears scrubs all the time, I think that's really important because nobody wants to hang dry their scrubs because the material is too nice. And when you've worked a long shift and you have a lot of like bodily fluids on your clothing, it's nice to just throw them in the washer and dryer and not even have to worry about it. I think I hinted at this a little bit earlier, but for a typical like 20 to $30 pair of scrubs, for me, the fabric is always extremely itchy and it irritates my eczema so badly. I've never had so many issues with a fabric than with itchy scrub fabric. I think that's part of the reason why my eczema was flaring so badly in the anatomy lab because I was wearing super cheap scrubs. I didn't want to get my nice scrubs dirty, obviously, when we're in the anatomy lab. When you get that formaldehyde smell in your scrubs, it really never comes out. So I was not going to be wearing nice scrubs into the anatomy lab. But I think that did contribute to the fact that I would get some eczema flares like on the inside of my arms and um, on the backs of my knees. That's like a typical eczema location. So basically at the end of the day, if you want a fabric that's nice like figs, I mean, there are tons of brands out there who make nice quality professional looking scrubs that are made out of a fabric that isn't going to irritate your skin, but most of them are just as expensive as figs anyway. You get out what you put in, I feel like, with the scrub brands. So that's just something to note. All right, second thing I wanna to touch on is sizing. If you are between sizes, please, please, please size up. That sounds really weird for a scrubs brand, but Figs runs just a tad bit small, if not just totally true to size. I'm a size medium in normal clothing in both the top and the bottom, and I'm a size medium in Fig scrubs, period. Normally when I order or when I get scrubs from a different brand, I always size down to a small because I end up swimming in the mediums, and this is not the case for Figs at all. So make sure you either order true to size or if you are 
in between sizes and you really don't know, I would probably recommend going the size up. So we're gonna get into the product. So the first thing that I have is the Katarina Scrub Top. This is in a size medium and in the color navy. So I will absolutely be buying more of these for sure. I prefer the single pocket because I like to tuck in my scrub top into my pants to keep it out of the way, but if you need more utility, there are other options with more pockets. The V is nice without being too deep. I feel like I can wear a long sleeve shirt under it and it doesn't look totally weird. And also I feel like I can bend over and not have any issues with the shirt like flopping forward, if that makes sense. Overall, this top fits really nicely. If you have more muscular arms and you're between sizes, again, I would recommend sizing up just because the circumference of the sleeve is not very wide. So if I had had this shirt in a small, it probably would have fit my torso a little bit better, but my arms would have been squeezed like a sausage casing. So that's just something to keep in mind. They don't offer a lot of room in the arms. And that's something that really irritates me about clothing is when the arms are too tight I just don't want to wear it. I'm extremely uncomfortable. Again, I think that comes from like the sensitive skin eczema kind of problem, but that's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, like I said, when I need more scrubs, this is probably the scrub top that I'm going to get. So next up is the Livingston scrub pant in the size medium and again, color navy. Honestly, I think these pants are extremely flattering on me. It's a really nice straight legged scrub without being very billowy, which can sometimes happen to me with other scrub brands. Fabric on other scrubs tends to gather around my ankles which is really annoying because sometimes I can trip over it or it just like makes my lower legs look very bulky which is not what I want these definitely do not do that size medium has plenty of room for my legs but it's fairly large around the waist not a huge deal because you can tie them and side note the tie on these scrubs is really soft i don't know why the little ribbon just feels really nice but it is kind of slick so i imagine if you didn't tie it very tight it might have the potential to come undone so that's just something to keep in mind i haven't found that in practice but that's kind of just what the material feels like to me yeah if you have bigger thighs and a smaller waist this is kind of just a reality of clothing for you in general it is definitely true for me whenever i order clothing in a size up it will fit my legs really well but it won't fit around my waist and when i order them a size down it's really tight around my legs but it fits perfectly on the waist so don't really know if there's much of a way to remedy that other than getting things tailored but I find that the mediums are probably my perfect fit based on the fact that I can tie the waist if I want to. And also because I'm tucking the scrub top into the pants, that gets rid of a little bit of that room too. My only gripe with this pair of pants is why do they not have front pockets? This makes no sense to me at all. I hate that they don't have front pockets and this is actually probably the reason why I will not be buying another pair of the Livingston pants. I know it's so that the like pants don't look super bulky in the front, but honestly, I just miss the utility of having those front pockets. It doesn't even have a pocket on the side of the leg like other scrub pants do. It only has the butt pockets, which is quite frankly, kind of annoying because nothing fits in those pockets, especially again, if you have larger, more muscular legs, those pockets get stretched out and you can't fit anything in them. So <laughs> this is literally the only reason why I wouldn't buy these pants is because of the lack of front pockets or the lack of pockets that are usable in general. So moving on to the Zamora scrub joggers, I have these in a size small and in the colors navy and black. So I love the joggers because of how many pockets there are and the cuff at the bottom that prevents me from tripping and generally just keeps things more contained. Again, please go with your normal size. Do not size down. I bought these a while ago before med school, pre-med school weight gain. <laughs> and they were already a little tight but now they're noticeably tight on my thighs they fit basically perfectly on my waist like i was talking about earlier even though they're tight in the thighs i can still squat down in them and i have complete mobility no problem thank you spandex i used to wear these when i was working in a physical therapy where i had to move around and do exercises with patients and like squat down to grab things and these were really comfortable and held up amazingly there's a lot more pocket options on these pants too including the front pockets which is great and then also the side pocket on the lower leg 
all in all, I really like these. I am considering selling my size smalls on like Poshmark or something and maybe ordering a size up to a medium so that I'm a little bit more comfortable, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But I would definitely recommend the joggers over the Livingstons based on the utility. If the jogger type scrubs aren't really your thing, if you need like a little bit more of a professional look, they have other scrubs on the website that have more pockets, but again, would not go with the Livingston. Even though they look really nice, the utility of having those pockets is just like so good. It is unacceptable to not have front pockets. Can you tell I'm mad about this? <laughs> okay, so that's it for the things that I have from Figs, but I wanted to compare some Fig scrubs to some normal scrubs, like the things that I bought for Anatomy Lab. And I think the things that a lot of people tend to go towards when they buy scrubs and they don't want to spend a ton of money. So I ordered these Deguchi scrubs from Amazon and I got them for about $20 for the entire set, which means that each piece was $10. These are in a size medium and in the color maroon. So this fabric is a cotton polyester blend and it is quite possibly the itchiest thing I have ever worn. I do not recommend this if you have sensitive skin or eczema unless you're planning on wearing a long sleeve shirt and leggings underneath every single time you wear them. Like, big yikes, this is so uncomfortable even after multiple washes. Also, the sizing with these is basically what is expected from a typical scrub brand. I would definitely need to size down to a small because I'm just like completely swimming in these. They were a good option for Anatomy Lab and basically nothing else. The fabric is not stretchy at all, so if you aren't proportioned perfectly to fit these, they will either be way too tight on your thighs and your butt if you're like me, or you'll have to order a size up and all your scrubs will be too loose. Don't get me wrong, for $10 a piece, these scrubs are definitely functional. They have tons of pockets. They have a one of the pockets is like double lined, so it's actually two pockets, which was nice for Anatomy Lab because I could keep tools in my pockets, which was cool. And maybe if I had ordered these in a size smaller, I would have liked them better. But again, they would probably have been too compressive on my legs. And the tighter the fit, the more that the itchy fabric would have irritated me. So I'm kind of on the fence about these. So yeah, overall, I actually do definitely recommend figs. I think for the increase in quality, the increase in price is to be expected or even less than expected. I feel extremely professional and confident when I wear them. And I feel like the construction of the items is a lot better than like what I would usually find at Walmart or on Amazon. I think the biggest thing for me is the fabric is really soft and doesn't irritate my skin at all. So if you're someone who has really sensitive skin, I would definitely look into fakes or the other contemporary nicer scrub brands that are out there. I think a bunch of them are popping up after figs kind of gained some traction and popularity. So if there are other ones that you guys would be interested in seeing, definitely let me know. I would love to try them out. As a med student in my first year, I'm not really doing a ton of things that require scrubs. I basically am only in didactic lectures. Occasionally I will see a mock patient where I have to wear business professional clothing and not scrubs but I still have them around for other activities like the student clinic or anatomy lab or things like that. So, and also if you are a healthcare worker, make sure you get the discount if it's available. All right, I think that's everything for me. I am coming up on finals week, so I'm going to be pretty busy. Sorry if the vlogs aren't super interesting or if I post a lot of study with me videos, but obviously I'm gonna be really busy. We have finals in every class that we're in. I have my OSCE tomorrow. By the time this is posted, I will have already had it, but I also have my final project, just like a ton of stuff going on. So hopefully we survive. And at the end of this next three weeks, I can officially call myself a second year med student, which is insane. Like That's crazy. If you guys have any recommendations for things you'd like to see from me in the future, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to stick around and see more of my journey through medical school. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.